A new vaccine has been approved in the fight against HIV, and it's being billed as the first injectable preventative HIV medication in Canada. So to explain how this works, we are joined now by Jean-Francois Fortin, the Canadian Medical Director for Vive Healthcare. Thank you so much for joining today. Hi, Melanie. Very happy to be with you this morning. Let's talk a little bit about the numbers. In the latest data, Canada saw a nearly 25% jump in HIV infections between the years 2021 and 2022. So indeed, a lot still needs to be addressed. At the moment, before the uh, approval from Health Canada, uh, to, to prevent the spread of HIV, there was a daily pill. Uh, your medication here that you're speaking of is completely different. Can you explain how this works? Yes, happily. Now, first, I would like, if you don't, if you don't mind, uh, I think in your introduction you mentioned a new vaccine. I just want to clarify that um, you know this is not a, a vaccine. This is really uh, a, a medication uh, that is used to prevent HIV, but not in the form of a, of a vaccine. Now, how does that work? Uh, it's uh, what you call the long-acting medication. So for patients for which the medication is appropriate, they would receive uh, an injection in their uh, buttocks uh, muscles uh, every two months. And uh, that's it. So uh, as low as uh, six times a year to get uh, uh, you know, an excellent level of protection. Yeah. Uh, this literally just days ago, Health Canada uh, approving this. I assume there were a number of trials. Can you talk about the process in order for this to get approved through Health Canada? Yes, so there was uh, a number of trials and actually, you know, the, the process of drug development, you know, goes over many years, if not decades. In the case of that uh, specific drug, after what you call preclinical development, uh, we started the major clinical trials. There were two of them that started in 2016 and 2017 involving over for the two trials combined together over 7,000 patients. So we're talking about, uh, you know, huge clinical trials and uh, those were, uh, you know, completed or the first phase of the trial was, was completed uh, around the end of 2020. Can you talk a little bit about cost? Because that will be a, a big question for many people. If they are uninsured, how does that model work and do subsidies, do they exist? Yeah, so uh, you know, as for cost, you know, what I can say is that we, we believe in responsible and, uh, you know, fair pricing that is, you know, aligned with, uh, you know, the, the Canadian uh, regulations. Okay, at the moment, there's no, no cost breakdown necessarily, or is there any tier level at all? Um, can, you, can you speak to that at all? No, so we're, we're just entering the, the discussions with, the, you know, the, the provincial, uh, or we're going to enter soon discussions with provincial uh, and territorial uh, health authorities. So uh, we, we have to run, you know, to this regular process before we can speak about uh, tiering or, uh, you know, uh, other ways of, uh, you know, providing funding for the medication. Understandable. Still very much in its its infancy. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the virus itself from from a number of advocates that we've spoken to in the community. Many saying, um, you know, this is perhaps the last stretch of very much a long marathon to eradicate the virus. So let's talk about some other support that is needed to make that happen. Uh, outside of, of course, these, this preventative medication, uh, what are you seeing? What can you speak to? Yes, yeah, so the, the, there's a continuum in, in what we, we can do in, in terms of uh, preventing uh, or stopping the epidemics, right? And I think that the two, the two key elements are uh, prevention and treatment. Um, Canada as a, as a country, we have um, you know, a good system in place. There is a good access to treatment medication. And uh, in, in the prevention space, there's already, as, as you mentioned uh, earlier, some oral medication that you take daily that can help uh, prevention. But I think it's important to bring another option. What, uh, what will help is really to provide choice for people so that they can have um, if appropriate, of course, after a discussion with, with their, their physician to have, uh, you know, a medication that's appropriate for them. That's really, I think, that the, from the medication side, and then there's also all the, the awareness, right? You, you mentioned earlier, there's still high number of cases of uh, HIV transmission in Canada, but unfortunately, um, HIV uh, is no longer a subject that's at the, the forefront. So I want to thank you for, you know, bringing that uh, to the awareness of, of the public that there's still a lot of work to be done to combat this epidemic. 
We thank you so much for your time, and indeed, we'll be hearing from you in the coming days, weeks, months when it comes to the rollout. Appreciate you speaking with us today. Jean-Francois Fortin with Vive Canada. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.